This person beside me in the car is going so slow. Why are they just they're right there? Like, step it up. All right, I want to give a big shout out to Shauna Wheeler, Stacey Lynn, Donna McFadden, and Joan Aguayo. I think I got that right, yo. Joan Aguayo for donating to me on Patreon. It means so much to me. Uh, I put an extra video, extra content about. Stop talking. Oh, they're arguing. Uh, okay, well, let me start over. All right, so. Fuck. All right, before today's video, I just want to give a big shout out to Shauna Wheeler, Stacey Lynn, Donna McFadden, and Joan Aguayo for donating to me on Patreon. It means so much to me. It helps keep me going and able to make these videos uh, and travel, helps pay for gas, food, hotels, all that stuff. So, really, a big shout out to you. Thank you so much. And if you want to get on my Patreon, I put up extra content there to make it worth your while. As little as $5 a month and extra videos all the time. Full videos, behind the scenes, me doing other stuff. Lots of different things on Patreon. And now, today's video. Ladies, thank you so much. I appreciate it so much. Okay. It's so cold. It's Toronto in the winter. Yuck. <laughs> I know you're gonna dig this. Get, get, fu get funky with me. What's going on, everybody? How are you doing today? So, here I am in Grand Rapids, Michigan with my friend, Zach. What's and, going on? Uh -huh. We were just in a parking lot. We were just laughing about it. A group of women came up, older women came up and asked us, do you know where, do you know where the parking is for the wine tasting? Yeah. Well, of course, yeah. of course they did. They were going to a wine tasting. That's a Michigan accent. Do you have to pay to taste the wine or is it a free thing? I, I, I feel like I have, you have to pay. No, right? you do, you taste the wine. Then if you like it, you buy the bottle. Yeah, they gave you probably like a little Dixie Oh yeah, yeah. Bowl. And they're saying you're supposed to spit it out, but I'm, those women, Really? Yeah, the, the, yeah. You, you spit it out. Yeah. Oh, Otherwise, you get too wasted. Yeah. You get drunk. So they're probably right now on their about ninth tasting, yeah, and they're going home sure. with some bottles from the wine tasting. I love that accent. <laughs> you don't have a Michigan accent at all. No, I don't. Not at all. And I'm not making fun of the Michigan accent, but seriously, with the A's, come on, you flatten them. Wine yeah. tasting. Wine tasting. All right. So we are here, and we're going to see. The hands resist him. The hands resist him. It's the world's haunted, haunted, most haunted painting. It's called Whoa. the hands resist him. Uh, Bill Stoneham, 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 painted it in the early '70s. I believe '73, and uh, it sold on on eBay in 2000. In, is it 2001 or 2000? Uh, and the guy who owns this gallery actually bought it in 2000, and since then it has become very famous. The description. I don't know if you can throw a little thing of the description but the description basically said that this painting was haunted and the uh, the people had to get rid of it because it was it was causing weird occurrences in their house right so they sold it i think it sold for like a thousand twenty dollars or something i think it was it was it was really yeah he bought yeah. it for like nothing and yeah. now he's got a lot of offers for yeah. it now i'm gonna tell you quickly about it, a little bit more about it but i'm not gonna show you what it looks like just yet here's here's a little quick something about it Okay, so The Hands Resist Him was painted in 1972 by William Stoneham, who was on a contract to produce two paintings a month for $200 each. In 1974, it was put on display in Beverly Hills, California. Then, it was reviewed by an art critic for the Los Angeles Times, Henry Seldes, and purchased by John Marley, who is an actor who is in The Godfather. He's the one that wakes up with the horse's head next to him in the bed. And then the story gets a little odd because a few years after the painting was sold, the critic, Henry Seldes, died. Then the gallery owner died. Then in 1984, John Marley died. The painting disappeared and it did not surface again until 2000 with a bizarre posting on eBay where the new owner said they were trying to sell it because it was haunted. Now, the owners warned buyers not to bid on the painting if they were faint of heart or unfamiliar with supernatural events. And many people reported just looking at the painting made them feel ill or upset. Now the painting ultimately sold for $1,025 to a buyer in Michigan and he keeps it in storage and has refused much, much bigger offers from people to buy it. William Stoneham, the artist, has come forward and said what inspired him to paint such a haunting painting. And the boy in the picture 
is actually himself, and it was modeled on a photograph taken when he was five. The title comes from a, po- a poem written by his then wife. It reads in part, the hands resist him, like the secret of his birth. So, what's cool about this is, only about eight other people, we talked to the owner, yeah. have seen this painting in real life. Yeah. We're gonna be the ninth and the 10th. Yeah. That's crazy, and this painting is world famous. Yeah, if you look it up, it's it's on multiple list of, uh, of the most haunted objects, and it's on a lot of uh, lists for being number one as the most haunted painting. And we're, we're but he's letting us see it. And he, yeah. now there's a documentary being made about this, like a full length documentary that's going to be hopefully going to Sundance. So I'm only allowed to show it for a very brief period in this video. I'm going to show you it. You're going to see it. We're going to go into the gallery now. We're going to, we're going to walk and roll over yeah. there. Yeah. Well, and who's the, who's right? the guy who's directing it? He was in uh, what movie? House of a Thousand Corpses. Yeah. Uh, he was the Dr. Fred, he, was, he played the guy at the beginning of Dr. Uh, House of a Thousand Corpses, I think, okay. something was like that. A- he's a, he's a, he's a, he's a art director or something yeah. for Rob Zombie. Yeah. But he's doing a documentary on it. So he's he got- did all the sets too. The set design. Yeah, the right, set design. Set design. Yeah. So anyway, so, but, so I can only show it a little bit in my video, but you're gonna see it. We're gonna see it with our own two eyes. Yeah, ninth and tenth people in the world. In the world painting. to see this painting. This is this is insane. One of the most haunted objects in the world. Are you scared? No. No. Okay then. I'm not either. Let's go in. Well, let's get over there yeah. first.
started out weird right off the bat, right? Did it? That's too cool. Because I remember shortly after, when I was reading it, I remember shortly after the... That enough for you? Yeah, it sent me to get the faces, and then, yeah. And then just launch on so that people know it's real. <laughs> After John Marley died, a family found it abandoned behind an old brewery. They took it home, hung it up, and had only been in the house for a few days when their young daughter started to complain about it. She said that the children in the painting would fight and that the girl would threaten the boy with the object she was holding in her hand. Finally, the girl started talking about how the figures would leave the painting and continue their fighting. So the parents decided that they better persuade their daughter that this was, the painting was just a painting, nothing else. So they set up a motion-activated camera. So for three days and nights, they let the camera keep its lens on the painting, and after that period of time, they went to view the footage it may have captured. What they found was odd. The camera seemed to capture the painting taking on a life of its own. The figures did not seem to be moving, but the colors changed, and the object in the girl's hand took on the resemblance of a gun or another weapon and not the battery that she had been carrying. That's a battery that she's holding. Now, the object in her hand may have seemed to have changed due to different lighting conditions being present in the dark, but the family insisted that there was something really, really wrong with this painting. So they wanted to get rid of it, but rather than burning it or destroying it, they decided to let the public decide. They put it up for auction on eBay, and the buyer could do with it what they wanted. Now, over 30,000 people viewed this listing on eBay, and many people felt sick, creeped out, freaked out, a lot of feelings like that. Now, I have to say that I'm a skeptic and a cynic. The painting was in the room with Zach and the owner and I the entire time for a good hour afterwards. Completely open, right on the open. I was only allowed to film it very quickly, as you saw. But, or as you see, I should say, right now. But I'm telling you, it stuck with me for a long time afterwards. It was mesmerizing. There was hundreds of other pieces of art in that room, but I could not keep my eyes off the hands of resist him. I kept staring at it. I kept going back to it. And it is mesmerizing to look at. Did it come to life? I don't know. But I don't know what happened after I left. What goes on behind that cardboard box in the storage center? Who knows? You decide. I can say that later that night as I laid in bed thinking about it, I did get violently, violently ill. But then again, I did have sushi from a gas station earlier that day, so that could have been part of that as well. All right, Zach, what'd you think? It was crazy. It was so cool to see that in person. I've seen it online for three or four years now. So to actually see it in person is pretty cool. I didn't think he was going to show it to us, honestly. Yeah, I, I was. Uh, I thought when we were in there, I was like, is he really going to let us look at it? Yeah, and and he, he brought it out in some cardboard like it was nothing. Like he, he doesn't even, yeah, he just brought it like it was nothing. I figured it was going to be like entombed in something and we were going to have to, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But he just brought it out in cardboard. I have a feeling that if you're in Grand Rapids and you go to the Perception Gallery. Perception Gallery. Kim, the owner, might have let you take a look, yeah. right? Kim's a great dude. He talked to us for about an hour. He's yeah. a really good dude. Really knowledgeable about art and framing. Wow. Yeah. yeah. yeah so, cool. my, he also, oh, did you get a thing of the Queen? Yeah, the Queen Victoria? Yeah. It's a princess or it's a... No, no, no. Uh, the Queen poster. Oh, the, oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I got all that. Yeah. I want to buy that. It was surprisingly a pretty good deal for what he Yeah, what 450. He had. 450, yeah. yeah. And it was yeah. from their first U.S. tour, which I can't remember what year that was. I think it's 70s. Like 70, 74, did it say? 72, something like that. Something with like Mott the Hoople. You've seen it by now. Yeah, yeah, that, you, yeah guys, you guys know. All right, well, that was the world's most haunted painting. Yeah. The hands, it was mesmerizing. I found it, I didn't find it creepy a little bit, but I found it mesmerizing right. to stare at. And I stared at it. Yeah, if you're in Grand Rapids, stop by the, what was it called again? Perception Gallery. Perception Gallery. Gallery. But, but like, what I showed on camera, we actually, the painting was out the whole time we were, yeah. we were there. So we got to look at it for a good half an hour. Yeah. I don't know. It's creepy. It's, cool. it's mesmerizing. Yeah. I don't know if if any spirits have overtaken my body yet. No. How do you feel? Well, I, yeah, I'm feeling a little weird. Do my hands resist you? Yeah. They do. Yeah. Such a different name too. I'm guessing because of the hands in the background. Yeah. And they're resisting him. Yeah. It's so but, weird. And she's carrying a little battery charger or battery. Yeah, her with... eye, she doesn't have eyes. Yeah. If you notice. Oh. All right. Well, we saw it. You saw it. Thanks for watching. Peace. Peace.